The reason we call people who have to tend to so many duties a busy bee is because bees themselves are often quite busy. Bees are some of the most hardworking animals ever. In their colony, they each have a role to fulfill. Together, they make the sweetest honey. Of course, that isn't all there is to these insects. Beyond the buzzing, yellow stripes and sharp stingers, there's still a lot that people don't know about bees. If you're curious to find out more, then keep watching for these surprising bee facts. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more neat facts to discover the world one click at a time. Number 1. There are around 20,000 species of bees. Bees belong to the Poiadise family. There are so many types of bees, and each one is different from the other. Some examples of these bee species are honeybees and bumblebees. Number 2. Bumblebees are the biggest bee species. You'll notice the bees in South America are much larger than other bees in the US. These are bumblebees, and they grow four times larger than regular bees. They are usually around 1.6 inches in size. Number 3. There are three types of bees based on their roles. Bee colonies have a social hierarchy composed of the three bee types. Worker bees, drones, and the queen bee. Worker bees are all female. They are responsible for tending to the hive and collecting honey. Meanwhile, drones are male bees, and they are responsible for copulating with the queen bee. Lastly, the queen bee rules over the other bees in the colony. She lays the eggs and is the foundation of the hive. Number 4. A bee's brain is as small as a sesame seed. A bee's brain is oval-shaped and very small. However, it has an excellent memory. Bees can remember faces by mapping out facial characteristics. That way, when friendly humans leave them nectar, bees will often come back to them. Number 5. Over time, a bee's brain chemistry changes. This depends on the function or role they are playing in the hive. In the colony, worker bees have to do all sorts of tasks like food production and gathering pollen. Thus, to ensure that they can perform each task efficiently, their brain chemistry changes to accommodate their specific task at the time. Number 6. Bees have to learn how to make honey. Newly hatched bees don't come into the world already knowing how to make honey. Because of this, the older bees have to teach them the steps in making honey. Number 7. Bees have rotated and twisted wings. Most insects have rigid wings. Bees, however, do not. Their unique wings help them make short but quick movements in flight. They can also fly backwards. Number 8. Each bee has a total of 5 eyes. Bees have eyes on each side of their heads. They also have three eyes on top of their heads. These help them see through UV light. Number 9. Bees cannot see the color red. With their five eyes, they can see for at least 300 to 659 nanometers. However, they can't see the color red. They can still see all of the other colors in the spectrum though. Number 10. Bees are very sensitive to smell. Bees have a total of 170 specialized receptors of odor. This means that they have an incredibly heightened sense of smell. With this, they are able to tell which types of flowers have pollen and nectar in them. Number 11. Bees have an extra stomach. Aside from having 5 eyes and more than 100 scent receptors, bees have two stomachs. One stomach digests food, the second stomach on the other hand is responsible for storing nectar and water. Without this extra stomach, bees wouldn't be able to transport honey. Number 12. Bumblebees love to eat. Like some of us humans, bumblebees get hungry very easily. It is likely because they are the biggest bee species out there. So they need more food than the average bee to keep working. Number 13. Bees are also fans of coffee. Another thing humans and bees have in common is their shared love for caffeine. Bees are drawn to flowers with coffee nectar, because the caffeine helps these busy bees stay alert and active. Number 14. Bees can't stand peppermint. Unlike coffee, bees dislike any plants or flowers that have peppermint in them. 
they can easily pick up on the smell from a mile away, so they will usually avoid them at all costs. If you're looking to keep bees away from your house, consider planting some peppermint plants in your garden. Number 15. Sometimes, a colony will have one or more queen bees. This happens when a new queen bee develops while the old queen bee is still alive. When this happens, the two queen bees usually rule together until the older queen bee dies. Number 16. Queen bees often fight for the throne. A new queen bee can get competitive. If she is the first to hatch among the other potential queen bees, she will sting her rivals before they get a chance to hatch. If two queen bees hatch at the same time, they'll fight each other to the death. Number 17. Queen bees can live up to 5 years. Throughout their lifetime, they lay up to 2,500 eggs per day. This number can go even higher during the summer, when the colony needs more bees because of the weather. Number 18. A queen bee performs a mating flight. To mate with drones, a queen bee leaves the hive and copulates with at least 45 drones during her mating flight. All of the collected sperm is stored in her spermatheca. During this, the queen bee is able to collect a lifetime supply of sperm, which is how she is able to hatch so many eggs. Number 19. Drones die after mating with the queen bee. Usually, the queen bee and drones mate for 7 to 10 rounds. When the drone reaches its limit, its abdomen will rip apart. This kills them instantly, and the queen bee moves on to another drone. Number 20. Unfortunately, worker bees also have short lifespans. Worker bees live for only 5 weeks, and they work until the very last day. They will be doing their usual tasks of gathering pollen and nectar, and even just a few hours before they die. Number 21. Bees die after they sting humans. Despite what most people think, bees don't sting humans randomly. They only do so as a defense mechanism. After they sting a human, however, their stinger is trapped in the human skin. When bees fly away, the stinger tears apart from their body, and this kills them. Number 22. Apollo was the first beekeeper. According to Greek mythology, the sun god Apollo was raised by bee colonies. He also lived on honey alone. Thus, people see Apollo as the first ever beekeeper in all of history. Number 23. Beekeepers do not take all the honey. Each beehive produces an excess of around 45 to 50 kilograms of honey. This is what beekeepers take, taking only what the bees don't need to ensure the bees' safety and preservation. Number 24. Smoke calms bees down. This is why beekeepers will often use smoke whenever they need to harvest honey or relocate the hive to somewhere safer. The calmer the bees are, the less harm comes to both the beekeepers and the bees. Number 25. The flavor and color of the honey depends on the flower it was made from. When bees make honey, not all of it looks and tastes the same. Some of it ranges from dark brown to an almost colorless shade. The darker the color, the stronger the flavor too. Number 26. Bees store honey for winter. In winter, bees can't make honey. To prepare for this, they make and store honey in advance. Thankfully, they are able to make more than they need to set aside for winter as well, so beekeepers are able to harvest their excess honey. Number 27. When they find the perfect nectar, bees will do a waggle dance. Bees fly back to their hives to tell the other bees where the location of these flowers are. Their waggle dance indicates the location of the flower from their hive and the sun. Number 28. The only bee species that can pollinate are carpenter bees. Carpenter bees have shorter mandibles than other bee species. This allows them to pollinate shallow and open-faced flowers. Number 29. Bees are important in crop and plant production. Bees pollinate flowers, vegetables, and fruits. Without bees, some plants wouldn't be able to make seeds or bear fruit. Bees play such an important role in the ecosystem. Number 30. Today, there are approximately 2 trillion bees. However, these numbers continue to decline as bees face continuous threats to their safety. Climate change, pollution, and pesticides continue to harm bees and the ecosystem. Bees are so much more than the stingers that most humans only know them to be. They play a vital role in ensuring our plants grow. 
Without them, there is no doubt that nature would have less colorful flowers. It is important to take care of them with as much care as these insects give to pollinating and making honey. Keeping nature clean and free of all types of pollution will help bees. Planting flowers is another way to keep them safe. There are all kinds of ways for us to protect them. So isn't it our turn to be the busy bees this time? If you enjoyed our video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel for more facts videos.